Hi, I'm TK, and today on Cool Kids Cooking, we are making... BC Wonton Soup! And then... Hairy Omelette! But first, let's meet my team of super trainee chefs. They are Hannah, Holly, Cameron, and Roja. And we can't forget about the boss of the kitchen, the head chef. Hi there, chef. Hello there, TK. Hello, junior chef. Hi, head chef. So, chef, do you like wontons? Hmm, I think I ate some in Beijing when I got my gold medal. You've got an Olympic medal? Hmm. What for? Shot put, of course. I was the ball. <laughs> 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 Okie dokie, now today's nosh up comes in two parts, the wonton and the super. Put them together and you have an awesome meal. So this is what you'll need. Water, beef stock, a carrot, fresh ginger, spring onions, frozen corn, soy sauce, button mushrooms, and fresh coriander leaves. And the wontons will use mushrooms, canola oil, garlic, another spring onion, sesame oil, soy sauce, lean beef mince, and pastry wonton wrappers. Phew! And this is what it will look like when it's finished. But don't worry about missing any of the steps along the way. You can get all the details from coolkidscooking.com. So, are we ready to make some wontons? Yay! Excellent. What are you wearing, Chef? I'm trying to help. Well, you can help us by not wasting the wonton wrappers. Mm, well, hurry up. I'm hungry. Right, let's get into it. Taking a mushroom. Squashing the mushroom down. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and then you want to cut it. Nice little pieces of a mushroom. Yes. Looking awesome. What do you think, Chef? Mm, looks yummy. So fungy. <laughs> Next up, we need to measure one teaspoon of canola oil for each of these pans. Excellent. Here we have our spring onion. I'm going to take that part of the spring onion. We will put this over here. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we just want to cut it so it's nice and thin. So into those pans, we need to add the mushrooms. And then to that, I will add the spring onion. And now we need to take the clove of garlic and crush it. Go girls, go girls, together. Girl power, girl power. <laughs> Squeeze, yay! Yay! I did it. Man, that's yum. Now, placing it into the bowl, we need to add to it one teaspoon of sesame oil. Ah. Yep, pour it in. We need two teaspoons of soy sauce. One, two, excellent. So we need to add the 200 grams of minced beef. Wow. Combine all those ingredients. Here's the fun part. We're going to start making these wontons. You just want to place it over there like that. Half a teaspoon. Put it in the centre, taking your little finger, dipping it in the water, drawing a circle around the mince, placing it in your hand, and then you just want to close it all the way up. And then you have your wonton, like that. Yeah! Oh, this is fun. Who's having fun? Me. Awesome. Like making little bags of lollies. <laughs> <laughs> It'll taste better. Better than lollies or better than... It's healthier. Uh, yes. TK, TK, TK! Yes, Chef? When will I tell you the joke about the backwards wonton? The backwards wonton? Mm. Uh, now? Mm. Not now. Why not now? Not now! Not now! It's wonton spelled backwards! Not now! now. Not now! Oh, ho, ho, ho. Now? Not now! Now? Not now! Now? Not now! <laughs> <laughs> You're a backwards wonton, Chef. Hey guys, I'm Lily, and today we're talking meat. Now, lean red meat, like beef and lamb, is great food for our bodies. It's packed with protein and is especially high in a mineral called iron. Now, iron is really important because it helps our blood carry oxygen around the whole body and it also helps you feel energised throughout the day. CK, see ya! Now we need to make the soup. So we have our beefy wonton soup. So, first up, slice a carrot. So you have pieces like that. I'm going to do the same thing, but with the spring onions. Oh yeah. Measure up one cup of frozen corn. And add to that two cups of water. Get all of that in. We need two cups of beef stock. Awesome teamwork, guys. Keep going to the top two cups, yes. Yeah! We need two teaspoons of ginger. Oh, yes. I'm just going to add the spring onion and the carrots. Add three teaspoons of soy sauce. Quick stir and bring this up to a simmer. We can start halving the mushrooms again. Straight down the middle. Awesome. We're just giving another quick stir. We need to add the wontons and the mushrooms. 
Awesome. Excellent. I think we all deserve a big round of applause. So while the wontons are simmering away nicely, I want to explain this hairy omelette thing. Now it's totally edible and it has no hair in it. It's actually alfalfa sprouts. Finally chop half a red capsicum and cook off in a frying pan. Then add quarter of a cup of alfalfa sprouts and give it all a quick saute for just a few minutes. In a bowl, lightly beat four eggs and sprinkle a little salt and pepper to taste. Then pour this mixture into the pan and cook the whole lot for five minutes or until brown on the bottom. Then carefully fold in half and serve with extra sprouts on top. And there you go, a la hairy omelette. And there we have it guys, we have our beefy wonton soup, looks amazing. And something a little different, our hairy omelette. Chef, 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 have a look at our hairy omelette. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Does it suit me? It's very beautiful. Mmm, I think so. And at least there's no real hair in the omelette. That's right, you got it spot on this time, chef. Great job, everyone. See ya! See ya! Manja, manja. Get into it. <laughs> Did you make that at home? Definitely. Yes. Yummy. Bellissimo! <laughs> this program was made with funding from New Zealand on air.